Hey guys, and welcome to another video, and welcome to my June book haul. So yes, this is my June book haul, and this will probably be one of the last book hauls you see on this channel, because as some of you may know, I am moving to Australia in September, September the 19th. It is getting a lot closer, and there is just no point in me buying books, really. I'm going to buy books on my Kindle, but physical books are going to be a no-no from now on, unless I definitely know that I'm going to read them before I leave, because all of this cannot be carried in a backpack. So I do have a book haul, a lot of these I received from NetGalley, so that was much much easier and I can take them with me, but I will do the physical books I received first and I shall start them now. The first book I have is actually a relatively new release and that is Say Her Name by James Dawson. This came out in the beginning of June I believe and is sort of a YA horror story involving Bloody Mary, you know, of saying her name three times in the mirror fame. Bloody Mary always freaked me out when I was younger, I wouldn't actually even say or think of the term Bloody Mary in front of a mirror. I'm excited to read this, and I have actually heard really decent things about it. I also received a bookmark and a little note from the author as well, which was a really nice touch, so I shall get to this one very soon. The next two books I have to show you were Charity Shop Buys, and the first was The Magician's Guild by Trudy Canavan. Now I picked this up because it was really cheap, it was £1 for the hardback, and I have been trying to get into more fantasy recently after starting Mistborn. This is just sort of about a young girl who becomes a magician's apprentice, and high fantasy shenanigans happen. Next book I have, I also found in a charity shop, and it's one that I really, I don't know why I picked it up, because it's not my genre, it's not really aimed for me, but it was just so cheap, it seemed like too good of a deal to pass up in a way, and that is Burn for Burn by Jenny Hahn. I do like the cover, but obviously this is a book targeted more towards the 15 year old girl, which I am definitely not. <laughs> the plot sort of reminds me of the movie Mean Girls with the burn book, and I don't know, I might try it. It was a pound. I mean, who doesn't like good deals like that? The next book I received from my friend Casey over at Dark Readers, I'll leave her channel linked below, and that is Echo Boy by Matt Haig, and she was giving away a bunch of books by authors that were going to be at the YALC. Picked up this one because I recognised the name Matt Haig as the author of The Humans, which I once tried to read or listen to, I technically I guess, on audiobook, and I didn't necessarily enjoy it, but I think it was more because it was an audiobook and it was the first one I'd ever attempted, but I just really liked the cover to this. The description on the back sounds a bit like a cheesy love story, but I'm guessing that's not all what this is. It's about a girl who falls in love with a clone or a, an echo, and I think echo is just another word for clone. I could be wrong, but I love the cover, so yeah. Next we are going to start on the books I received from NetGalley, and the first one is going to be The Good Girl by Mary Kubica? Kubica? I could be right. And I pretty much requested this one because of the opening paragraph of the blurb, which I will just read to you, it's only two sentences, just read it from my computer. I've been following her for the past few days. I know where she buys her groceries, where she has her dry cleaning done, where she works. I don't know the colour of her eyes or what they will look like when she's scared, but I will. And. That sounded creepy, so why not? I also love the cover. The rest of the blurb sounds a bit more on the generic side, but I'm hoping that it adds a bit to it. I have seen a couple of reviews that were pretty good, so I am interested to get to this one. The next book I received was The Moment Collector by Jodie Lynn Anderson. And this comes out on the 7th of August in the UK. This one was sort of described as a romance slash mystery in the vein of The Lovely Bones. I don't know how they're going to make a romance in the vein of The Lovely Bones, because that would be quite weird, but, but overall the story sounded really, really cool. It involves a ghost who finds herself drawn to a particular street and a particular girl on that street. It all sounds quite interesting, and early reviews have actually been really, really decent. So, like I say all the time, I am excited to check this one out. The next book I received is The Revealed by Jessica Hickam. Now this is another YA dystopian. You couldn't really tell from the cover, this looks more like a sort of contemporary to me, but this one sort of involves a section of society that has cut itself off from the rest of the world. There are people outside who are coming into this society and always kidnapping 18 year old girls specifically. Obviously the blurb does not tell you why they are only abducting 18 year old girls, but that was enough to get me interested. Definitely sounds like a more of a different take on a dystopian. We shall see. This book I received was The Queen of Teerling by Erica Johansson, I think? 
Erica Johansson, I was right, sent in the vein of Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas. It is a sort of fantasy about a young girl who has been exiled from the throne and her journey to take it back. I have a friend who is part of the Amazon Vine Club and she received an early copy of this and she really, really, really loved it. So I picked it up on the strength of her recommendation because we usually like the same sort of books. They will be reading this one very soon so uh, me and my friend can talk about it. The next book I received was Dollhouse by Anya Allen. Now this sounds like a bit of a strange book. This is YA and this basically involves three teens who stumble across a sort of secluded mansion in the middle of the woods and when when they go into the basement, they find a bunch of life-size toys and girls who are forced to sort of dress up and become dolls. It sounded really, really strange and it sounded a bit like Alice in Wonderland. You know, everything's really backwards. It sounded really interesting, but a love triangle is also mentioned on the blurb, so that makes a strike. But overall, it did sound really, really interesting. Three books left to show you, so we'll move on quickly. The next one I have is The Book of Strange Things by Michael Faber. This is the author of The Crimson and The White, or something like that. I hauled it recently. It's about hookers in Victorian London. And this is his new book. Apparently from the blurb, this novel has actually taken him 10 years to write, which sounds just insane. I believe this one is about a couple who sort of travel to third world countries administering information about the Bible and Jesus and God and all that stuff. They sort of question their faith when a typhoon happens and what was there? There was typhoons, there's earthquakes. So it sounds like it's going to be sort of a question of faith drama. It does sound really interesting and if it's taken him 10 years to write then that means it should be good, right? The second to last one I have to show you is Trilobites and Other Stories by Brees DJ Pancake, which is just <laughs> an awesome name. This is basically just a collection of short stories that is sort of revolved around West Virginia. I believe these stories were released a while ago and this is just sort of a reprint, but I've been meaning to get into short stories recently and this one instantly just drew my, drew my attention because of the cover. The cover is wonderful and it made me want to read it. Okay, so it turns out that was actually the last book. I confused myself very, very easily apparently. I cannot count, but... <laughs> But that has been my haul, I hope you enjoyed it. As always, if you have read any of the books that I have listed below or are interested in them, leave me some comments below and we will have a little chat. But that is going to be all from me for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up because everybody loves a haul, I don't know. <laughs> I shall see you soon with another video and goodbye.